Okay, so here we're asked to find a percentage increase. So originally we've got 180 patients, and then two years later we have 207. So first I'm going to find the actual increase, as in how many more patients are there. So there were 180, and we're going to see how much bigger 207 is from there. So 207 take away 180 is 27 patients. So now when we do the percentage increase, we're going to look at that increase out of what the original was, so the 180. So it's important that we label this as our original value. And we know that to turn a fraction into a percentage, we times it by 100, and that is the same as 100 over 1. Now to begin with, this looks tough for a non-calculator, but if we look at this fraction here, we might notice that both of those numbers are in the 9 times table. So dividing the numerator by 9 gives me 3, and the denominator by 9 gives me 20. So already it's starting to look much nicer. Secondly, I'm now going to look at this 100 and this 20, and I know that they're both divisible by 20. So divide this by 20 gives me 1, dividing here by 20 gives me 5. So now it's a much easier calculation. Just multiplying fractions, so multiplying the numerators together, 3 times 5 is 15. And multiplying the denominators together, 1 times 1 is just 1. So 15 divided by 1 is 15, therefore our final answer is that it was a 15% increase.